Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Today we talk about wrestling with subtitles. What's going on on Raw? Where'd Beth Phoenix go? Factions and more. Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hi. Have you missed us this week? Hello. We missed you. We're going to have a lot of fun here. I am, of course, Sorgatron Master of Ceremonies here at the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ready for oh, a lot damn. of fun. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. With us is on the couch, Mr. Chachi. What up, bitches? Mr. Coin to begin.com at Chachi says. Yeah. <laughs> what? Also <laughs> with us coming from San Antonio. No one cares. Tech- Sis. Shut up, move on. Is the wrestle move fan. on? <laughs> move on. No, 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 no. Still going. You gonna say anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he's crying no, in the corner. No, you got the you got the dog pissed off now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks, you got the whole time. No introduction. No. Okay, no, moving on. Bobby F J Town from sword? Johnstown. This week in wrestling, I learned magic hey, isn't no, real. That's not it yet. <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, the chat room. Yet. The chat room started chanting no. <laughs> Holy crap! They do. Look at that. <laughs> Bow before <laughs> me, <laughs> for I am Chachi. <laughs> you are the tag team champions. <laughs> Uh, Bobby? Yes. I don't know. Riz, Hi. also coming from us from the Pittsburgh greater area. <laughs> that was the most fucked up introduction sequence I think we've ever done. The fuck? You're welcome. You're welcome. Exactly. <laughs> this is, of course, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we can find you can we can find ourselves, and you can also find us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on your iTunes, Blip TV, Roku on the uh, Blip TV app, on Stitcher, um, on YouTube, uh, in video and audio forms. So you can check us out uh, any way you wish. You can hit us up. We're on Twitter. <laughs> We're on at, at Mayhem Show. <laughs> the chat room is off the. Uh, they're on something tonight. Oh, are they? Oh, uh, well, uh, it went from a no chant to a yes chant, back to a no chant, and now so- they're confused and they're chanting maybe. <laughs> <laughs> indifference, you- indifference. <laughs> indifference, 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 uh, perhaps. <laughs> um, you can... <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on Twitter, at Mayhem Show. You can tag this show, uh, hashtag WMS... Uh, what's the episode? 339, holy hell. I don't know what number we're on. 339, you can also check us out. We're on Facebook. We have a great Wrestling Mayhem Show open group where we have a lot of discussion on there. We hope you can join us. And we're also on Google Plus doing some stuff on there, too. We're doing Hangouts every week. You can uh, come and join us. Let us know how to get into that. Sometimes we may be going live. For that. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about it because I mean we're they're, they're so much it. fun and and they're they're just kind of off the. And it might be for gold. It, 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 I don't know. No, I can't stick like three. No? Hours. One, I'm not editing it, <laughs> and two, I'm not sticking three hours of that stuff up on gold. Uh, Wizard will be very angry with me, probably. <laughs> um, we're very lucky to be on an unlimited account with them. Uh, grandfathered in, and I don't want to push it. Uh, but uh, no, no, maybe no. Questionable, questionables, questionable. Um, we can also drop the line at that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're also at, uh, you have the hotline that you can call us at 412-206-WMS0. And also, hey, buy the app, guys. He's got it over there, Riz. There it is. Dollar 99 on the Amazon App Store or buy the my iOS lunch. App Store. Buy my lunch. iPhone, iPad, Android devices. It gives you all the past episodes of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Has a uh, gold uh, for some stuff uh, before, after, whatever we stick in there that we usually don't release anywhere else. And do that, please do that to support the show. And you can also join us here live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com. 
uh, with the chat room. Like I said, the guys that are chanting God knows what out there. That's the doc. That's not right at all. <laughs> that's not That's no. not it. We got the Spiffy News secrets. chat room going on. You can hop in. Just log in with your Facebook or Twitter, and that's it. We got 13 people in there hopping right now. Hey, 13 people. <laughs> hey, all you guys, including uh, Silent Ninja, John Fun, uh, Juggalo John, Wrestling Revolution is uh, represented in there. Big PPC and 50 oh. Matches. Thanks to all of our friends dropping in and joining us here on Tuesday nights. And we can start around 8.30, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. I'll we start, start, start we whenever to. the fuck we want to. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, you can stick, come around earlier if you like technology uh, and gadgets. If you like uh, video and games, we're doing shows games. for that starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Like so it. there you go. You can join us all night. But spend your Tuesdays with us. And also joining us here in a little bit is Max from Wrestling with Subtitles. Wait, wait. did I say that right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I didn't know if the width was correct. Uh, great. Great. Uh, uh, cause that's going around and uh, and uh, uh, you know trying to trying to get subtitles and DVDs so everybody can uh, enjoy wrestling like we are uh, equally. And also, yes, I, I know like DJ Lunchbox is not with us this week. I understand he's Aww. at a family reunion tonight. So uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll wish him his best, and we hope to see him again here uh, next week with Papa Lunchbox. Okay, on so. that pudding pop. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so with that, uh, we so do have sad. mail You're and proud. such. So uh, I, I, who's doing it? Bobby, are you doing this one? Do, do you want to tag team it, Russell fan? Yeah, let's tag team. You got to start it now. It's not, it's not a long one, but we got an email from uh, one big PPC. No, what do you mean it's not a long one? Our, our Russian ambassador that is from, like, Michigan or something. I don't know. Right. <laughs> so, so Bobby, Russia. you start it off, and then when you want to pass it off, just say tag. Popcorn, okay. popcorn reading. Go. Hey, what's going on, the Mayhem Show crew? It's me, it's me, it's Big PPC. Raw fantastic segments with Heyman and Punk. I could have done without the referee segment. Not sure if any of you know Brad Maddox or Brian Maddox. <laughs> I think his name, I think it is his name he wrestled in FCW and maybe still on NXT. Whatever you want to call it, he is on developmental. Maybe the ref just looked like him, but figured I would ask if any Mayhem Show crew knew who I was talking about. Are you running out of breath? I, have, I, have no I idea don't know. What, <laughs> what it's said. a long email. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey man, I it's hard to it's cramped together. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, Heyman proposed to AJ. Wow! All, and all the dirty things Punk and her did behind closed doors. Stop thinking about AJ and touching ourselves. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Not cool. Like I said before, no circle jerks. <laughs> Speaking of circle jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Santino and Ryder versus primetime players. This match was faster than Santino doing the job, per usual, taking down everybody's favorite mid-carder. And unfortunate jobber, woo-woo-woo, you know it, Zack Ryder. Santino should not be number one contender of anything. Damn bull... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's losing it. Tag, tag, tag. 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 Hot tag. Hot tag. Hot tag. Go. Dumb bullshit ass motherfucker. <laughs> Kane, Dan, Daniel, Ryan, slash team friendship, slash team no no flamer, slash team hellfire rugs, but slash but we can get team hell no. Whatever, I guess. Wow, all the fantastic segments are great. Let's hope they don't overdo it too much of good things. Is that is what happens with AJ Lee, right? <laughs> He's Italian now? <laughs> it's don't, a me, I, it's Mario. Like new music? Hold on. <laughs> it's a me, big BBC. So, oh, my God. Rhodes Scholar with Sandow and Rhodes, probably your next challengers for tag team champs. The Mexican the win tonight with Sheamus, but they totally are not going to get a title shot for tag belts. Why? Team Hell No will be facing a heel team. Calling it, I see Sandow and Rhodes or primetime players getting next shot. Ziggler <laughs> and Kofi had match of the night, possibly match of the year candidate. 
Ziggler, we all knew steals the show, but Kofi, I think he has been shadowed by Little Jimmy and Truth Little Jimmy bullshit. <laughs> Kofi is good in a tag team, but better on his own. It would be nice to see Kofi Kingston as heel, maybe in faction like a new version of The Nation with Mark Henry when or if he returns, primetime players, and either Truth or Big Zeke or David Otunga. Can we, t Bobby, are you, you good? Can we tag? Yeah, I, I'm good. Tag! Tag back in. Beth Phoenix leaving double double E. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Man, he built up for that one. <laughs> there goes the Divas division. Hope we po we have possibly Raquel Diaz, aka Vicky, and Eddie's daughter coming in, and a couple of girls from NXT are pretty good. <laughs> so, hey, back to my questions this week. If we could bring back a faction or stable with current stars, who would be in it and what stable or faction? I would bring back Nation of Domination with people above. One other question. If you could have your favorite faction or stable with people alive or dead or active or retired, who would it be? And who would your mouthpiece be in the group? Till next week, it's me, it's me, it's Big PPC, Phil. P.S. Keep up good work, Mayhem Show crew. Uh. Sense from my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Russell Van, go and read the other one real quick. And the other one, which is right here. Wednesday, October 3rd, main event on Ion Network, 7 p.m. Central Time, new show. Watch it or be left out at Chachi Says. This means you. Oh. Sounded good. <laughs> Russian laugh. <laughs> Sent from my iPhone. <laughs> I love it when we read sent by my iPhone yeah. for that. Okay. I think that's the uh, title there. Wow. Have you read Russian Laugh? There was a video on Attack of the Show today of um, the dude who played Her Hercules, Kevin Sorbo, reading one of his stage directions. He's like, he's, he like reads his line and then he goes, Disappointed! <laughs> Guys, uh, this reminded also, me of that. Sign up, sign up with the email. Love, gotta give props to Big PPC. For the best possible way to spell Raquel Diaz, <laughs> spell <laughs> Raquel R A K E L. Hey, it, it sounds just like hey, it's sure. Raquel so well. Diaz. I don't understand why you paused on that, Bobby. Yeah, I was like Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> All Wait, right, all right. What the what, what new ahead. bullshit show am I supposed to watch now? Main event starts on Ion next Wednesday. Do you get eye on? You have cable. You have to. If not, it's over the air. I get eye on. I get to watch wrestling live. Hey. Yeah. Well, not live, it's, but, it's but live. it's aired. Whatever. Free tape. Free tape. Unfortunately, I'm doing something next Wednesday, so I can't even watch it. But it'll be on Hulu. It's going to be Thunder to Raw and SmackDown. No? What no. is it? It's it's called WWE Main Event. That's all we know about it. Literally, that's, that's all, all that's we know. Uh, well, I mean, there is stuff on Ion's website. Let me pull it when up here from they, the notes. When did they announce this? They announced this like a couple uh, months ago. They yeah. announced this before they announced Saturday Night Slam. Hey, I have a, I have a question. Morning. Morning. I yeah, have Saturday a question. Slam. Since uh, 2000, what year are we in? Chatsy's <laughs> <laughs> high. <laughs> We're in 1980. 2012. Weren't we supposed to get WWE Network this year? We were. Yeah, now we were. now they're just kind of distributing all the programs. Here wub, wub, wub. Oh, wait, that's Flashpoint. Hey, look, it's the Pink Ranger, guys. <laughs> wub, wub, wub. And, oh. and the guy from Just Shoot Me. No, no here you go. About Flash WWE point. main event. Uh, and so, I mean, it's showing major people, and they have a promo hey, with no. John Well, yeah, because the, sure, of course they're people. showing major people. Their advertisements aren't going to be mid-card stars, like, and Superstars uh, is full they, of mid-card stars, but they had like John Cena and The Undertaker yeah. in the videos for no reason. Remember, you remember when Superstars first started? It was like two Superstars faces mashed together. They still had and that. It was like no, they, two they, main they, eventers. They, they still do that on the show. And then it turned into like They're Zack like, Ryder. What? And, Randy Orton's and, never been on this show. <laughs> so, <laughs> Slater. I don't know. Wait, no, I'm going to watch it. It's more wrestling. Why not? You Wait, know? Go back yeah. and go for a minute. What's that? I don't like wrestling anymore. <laughs> Go back to the Pink Ranger. <laughs> oh, the Pink Ranger. Uh, yeah, she's in the show Flashpoint. That's like, like uh, it, it's Canadian, I guess. Slayers. And they brought it over for Ion. And uh, that's uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. 
Ah, the Canada, Canada I went off. Hey. Go, go, Pink <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> there you go. In my bedroom. Go, Ashley go, Pink Joe Ranger. Yeah. That was her name. Hank Ranger. Oh, so there's some questions. So this faction. Or Amy Joe Johnson. This faction uh, uh, that that he's talking about. uh, Yeah, there was an article this past week about, like, what if they did new factions? Mm -hmm. um, Like, new versions of factions with, like, uh, you know, like John Cena being the NWO, uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So, I mean, it was really just kind of mimicking Million Dollar uh, Corporation with uh, Del Rio at the top of it with, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, Cesaro, Primetime Powers, Power Display. Yes. Uh, No, it makes sense, though, when you go into it. Uh, uh, technically, what if they did a new that movie? one's kind of that, that one's like oh cool, and then it just gets lower and lower on the total pool. I well, actually like that one, but I would substitute Mark Henry for somebody else in the Ministry of Darkness. Yeah, yeah, but those and for those on audio, the I mean, they're, they're oh talking, great, they put him in the Ministry of Darkness because King he's Yoshi, Yoshi Tatsu, uh, Tensai, Exana, uh, all in here. Yeah, so I, I would replace Undertaker. Just yeah, because he's not with, around. What, like Kane yeah, or something? He's not, yeah, I have Kane lead it. Yeah, I think Kane could lead the ministry. At this point, yeah, mm-hmm. why not? I, I think Daniel Bryan's would actually be in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I could see Daniel Bryan's being in that type of thing. Same with CM as, Punk. As Goatface. I think so. Hey, is Yoshi Tatsu going to be, like, Naked Minion? <laughs> very no, I think it's somebody yelled "Naked Tensai" when this came out. So, Aww. yeah, yeah. Aww. Uh, they even did like a dudes with attitudes with like Sheamus and. I would yeah, not. Watch that. Anyway, I like, would not watch that. They were stretching on that one. I Except care about Rachel. one person Why in that the flock. How about then? the flock with uh, CM Punk up front, Caitlyn? Hey. Uh, Hawkins. Uh, See, that uh, one works because the Hawk had Raven, who was at least a bit established, yeah. and the rest of them were people that no one cared about. Yeah. So that fits perfectly. That was a, that was a good point. Of I, I think, think Zack uh, Ryder would have been fit perfectly in that, too. I think mm-hmm. the pre uh, general manager, AJ, would have fit in that, too. Yeah. The flaw. Yeah. Especially oh, definitely. crazy AJ. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. What would you guys see? I. I, I I don't like this idea. Like, it's a pretty cool concept. It's like, yeah, what do we do if we stuck all these people in these roles in these other factions? Now, I mean, anything that comes out has to be new factions. I think there needs to be factions. Like, oh, evo- yeah, like evolution. Oh, yeah. Evolution played the role of being the new four horsemen. Evolution was the new four horsemen, but instead of being, hey, we're the four horsemen, there, it was the same idea, but with a, with a new name and everything. I, I, there's a, there's a point there's a point where you can draw in the past, but there's a point where you have to innovate. Exactly. You can't just have a bunch of new guys jump up, you know, and, and say, uh, "Hi, I'm John Cena, and uh, we're the fucking NWO." <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got to be yeah. something yeah, that, else. That would be cool if he just said, I, we're yeah, the fucking would, NWO." That would be amazing if that happened. <laughs> He's like, John Cena shows up at Raw next week. Yeah. NWO Wolfpack music hits. He comes out wearing the red, red and blue. No, 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 no. He does a cover. He does a cover of the Wolfpack yeah, he covers, music. He covers. He turns the Wolfpack music into hip hop. He comes out. It was hip hop. The Wolfpack was hip hop. He hip-hop. he redoes it. Okay. Stop okay. fucking correcting me. With Stop that. saying wrong things. <laughs> the Fox Pack. But he he comes out. And he's like, hey, I'm John Cena, and this is the fucking wolf pack. <laughs> Drops Adam the mic, leaves. walks out. <laughs> Go, he goes sits at craft services with a clipboard <laughs> and a piece of paper. And there's a, and there's now a banner behind where the where the burritos goes that just says NWO sign up. <laughs> I, I love, that's, the best part about that sentence is you noted that that catering has a place where burritos yeah. goes. I, I imagine that with uh, this is gonna be racist. Then Virgil's I'm gonna done. be there sitting done. Next to him. Yeah, yeah. Virgil shows up with his, with his uh, <laughs> million Here dollar his banner set up. Yeah, his banner and his table and bring, his million dollar belt. Hey, what's the score? <laughs> Oh, the visuals. What's the score? The visuals. I wish we had somebody that could draw here. Oh, my God. Uh, wow. But, yeah, that's how that's how John Cena's NWO would go. I have an idea for Brand Old Stable. No. Okay. No. Don't tell him no. Like, like no. I said before, William Regal is the mouthpiece. Okay. Seamus, Drew McIntyre, uh, Antonio Cesaro. Wade Barrett is the leader, or Seamus, either one. The United Nation of Domination. 
How about that one? <laughs> Actually, I like Wheels. All right, all right. Wheels put one in the uh, chat room that he called the Dangerous oh, yeah. Alliance. They, it was one that they went over on the article. I like the, that one, too. Article, yeah. yeah. I don't read the thing. The, the thing with a stable, and the I do like the idea of the world nation stable or whatever. The mm. only problem is when you look at that lineup, the only one that would really, need, the only one that needs a stable would be Drew McIntyre. Like well, Sheamus and Cesaro and Barrett are already established on their own. You need sort of a hierarchy, in yeah. a sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you need you need your big guy, your main event guy. Hey, the core didn't need so, a hierarchy. They just sucked. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, they, they were like a horrible nexus. They were just like, hey, yeah. we need to do a nexus on the other show. Let's call it the core and make it all the other guys that aren't in there anymore. Which now they have mm, a new stable on SmackDown apples. with Slater, Jinder Mahal, and Drew McIntyre called and those, Encore. And the those encore. are, I, I don't understand the Encore. What's with the Encore part? I That's don't know. Band 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 I think. Band 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 explain band. next week. But still, those are three guys that could really use a stable to get ahead. Exactly. Because mm-hmm. they're not doing shit on their own. But they need a leader. They're not going to do shit together either. Jiggle my that's true. Balls. That's true. They do need a leader, and that's the one thing. It's that, in the you chat know. room. I'm acknowledging the fans. You will not shake your your. Fucking... We got to put some context to it, man. He was talking about Jinder sit... Mahal. You can't just sit there and be like, "Jiggle my balls." He was talking about Jinder Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggle, Jiggle my balls. Jiggle my balls. Jinder Mahal. It, it rhymes. It, it fits. Uh, the guy's terrible. About balls. It's the funny. guy is terrible at what he does. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is true. I thought you were the the he's, mark for him. There is, he's good at forum. Uh, I have mark for him, but it's no. Hey, like I, I only mark for him because he's a, uh, he's, no. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, all right, and with that, hey, did you check out uh, uh, Russell fan? Did you uh, did you check our uh, voicemail here? No, I, I don't. did. It's from uh, uh, one boo diggity. And let's get right to, to say. it. All righty. Oh, Diggy, I don't need to introduce anything further. I watched some wrestling the other night. That was nice. We had some fun. But I have something to say. Wrestle fan, after watching last night's Monday Night Football, not Raw, football, <laughs> wrestle fans allowed to complain scot free from me, Bo Diggity, for a week. Because holy crap, I wanted to complain so much, and I'm like, you know what? No, no, I'm gonna be better than that. I'm gonna be better than everybody. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> he did too. I was a witness. He's the best. And I let him go. Right. I said, you know what? You're weak. free for a week. I'm not gonna. He can. He can complain all he wants to. I can't say anything. Next week, though, your ass is mine. <laughs> oh, um, so I was just, uh, oh, my there's more. just got Bloody prison hell. rape series in here. Yeah, yeah I was here for work. my butthole. I'm certain of it. And now I'm going to go do moonsaults. Bye. Woo! <laughs> wow. I, video, <laughs> video of the moonsaults or they didn't happen. <laughs> no, well, he does, you haven't he been in the hangouts. <laughs> you haven't been in the hangout when he does his moonsaults. Yeah. Now this guy. Can um, we talk about that? Are we allowed to talk about that? But uh, he brought, he brought it up. Day. He broke his bed seriously. <laughs> yeah, he, he has been doing uh, in the hangouts <laughs> wrestling moves in his hotel room from like, you know, just jumping on his bed. At least he's done moon salts. He's done elbow drops. He's done and sad like, pillow. He, I think he did like the, the, you said sad pit pillow humping. <laughs> yeah, is that a wrestling yeah, move? Yeah. Is that a wrestling yeah. move? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Um, Perfect, he was doing like the Sintera Mark. round off thing uh, uh, going on. I there. would just like to point so, out. That uh, you may have earned a, a week pass from uh, one Bo Diggity, <laughs> but your ass is mine this week. That's fine. And That's fine. Uh, your complaining last night got to the point where I shut off Raw and no, went you, to sleep. Again. And you, you weren't even in the hangout. hangout. Yeah. No, this was based on his complaining on Twitter. Hey, you got, And they said I could tweet, so whatever. I went to bed. You made me not want to watch wrestling anymore. And it was a good show. It was. You it missed was out. Great. I don't care. I didn't. I wasn't mad about everything. <laughs> <laughs> you made me not want to watch wrestling anymore. I shut it off. I went to bed. Wrestle fan. Wrestle fan. Get happy. I, Get happy. Stop. Style. Stop ruining wrestling for everybody else. Shave your beard. <laughs> I'm so happy. All these are related. Make your bed. All these are related. Make your bed. 
make your damn bed. Chatroom fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say your prayers asleep. and take your vitamins. Well, and exactly. By that, by that, I mean the did I did I make them fall asleep too? No, but no, they no. don't they don't fucking like you either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I will note. make you humble. Whoa. Wrestle fan go in the corner. <laughs> now that we've cheered up Wrestle fan, let's go ahead with the amateur falling down segment. It's time for the indie minute. Cry. No. Indie minute done Cry. in the corner crying, Cry. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so this Cry. week on hey, the uh, turn me up. <laughs> <laughs> can we play the Tetris music for him too? Yeah, can I can I can I uh, do this without game screen that? Okay, cool. Um so yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> the Indie Minute for this week. The first thing I'm going to talk about in the Indie Minute is our good friends at IWC Wrestling. They have a big event coming up this weekend on uh, in uh, Newell, West Virginia for Mountain State Madness 3 uh, on the 30th of uh, uh, this weekend. It's going to be a really, a really stacked show, it looks like. Um, the main event is Shima Zion, a.k.a. Zima Ion, returning to his home state of West Virginia uh, as he is going to be taking on uh, Sanjay Dutt, who you may have or may not have seen him wrestle on uh, TNA recently. So uh, if you didn't get to see that or you want to see it again, you can see it at IWC uh, for Mountain State Madness. Um, other matches include uh, Logan Shulo versus Dennis Gregory for the IWC Heavyweight title, uh, Sammy Callahan versus Ricky Shane Page, uh, Facade versus uh, Dragon Gate USA star Rich Swan. Uh, so it looks like a really stacked card. Um, so if you're in the West Virginia area, or if you'd like to go to this IWC event, you can go to IWCWrestling.com. Go I, check them out. Get your tickets there. Also, and, if you are in the uh, southeastern uh, Ohio area, because it's right up there on the tip where it comes up, right, or in the western PA area, it's not too far from where it tip, it, It's up, up around East tip. Liverpool. It's right over from, like I think, Beaver, or like over from the airport. Like it's like it's literally like forty minutes from where I'm at here in Pittsburgh, so it's not far away at all. So there you go, and it's a stack. Like you said, it's a stack show, and it's worth it to go up for that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so yeah, go to iwcwrestling.com to get tickets there. Um, the next thing that I'm going to talk about on the Indie Minute is uh, our good friends down here in Texas at Anarchy Championship Wrestling. The big news that came from this weekend. Was finally released on DVD was the big uh, fourth annual American Joshi Queen of Queens tournament. They've released the DVD now in a variant cover, uh, really awesome cover, by the way. Uh, you can purchase that DVD for twenty dollars on uh, ACW's website. However, if you wait, I'm assuming if you wait a bit later in this week, the DVD will also be in all forms on SmartMarkVideo.com and Smartmark Video on Demand. Uh, so go check that out because I got to go to that show live and it was absolutely phenomenal it was one of my favorite ma- uh, shows that i've been to this year um if you get sick and tired of women's wrestling and how it's been portrayed i highly encourage you to watch this dvd because it is a vast change from the stuff you see on television it is amazing um a lot of great stuff uh former wwe women's champion jazz uh former tna talent christina von erie uh, a lot of big names from the independents um and from acw and hey there's some men's matches on there too that are really good too so uh, go to uh, anarchychampionshipwrestling.com to go buy that DVD now. And like I said, it should be on later in the week uh, on smartmarkvideo.com. So go check that out and go support some great local Texas wrestling. Uh, and the final note that I want to make on this week's Indie Minute is our friends at Prime Wrestling uh, up in the Ohio area. Their TV tapings uh, in Twinsburg, Ohio are going to be uh, this weekend on the 30th. A uh, lot of big matches for this uh, for this show. Uh, Rhino versus Johnny Gargano for the first time ever. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Um, a very clashing of styles. Also, Jimmy Jacobs going one on one with Bobby Beverly, and much more uh, coming from their TV taping um, that uh, for their television show. I believe still on Sports Time Ohio. Um, so you can go check them out at, I believe it's primewrestling.com. Go get your tickets for the uh, TV taping in Twinsburg, Ohio on September 30th. That's this weekend. And yeah, so go check out, uh, prime wrestling. And that my friends is your indie minute for this week. Thanks wrestle fan. And on the line with us is Max Zaleski of wrestling with Cypress. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I get your name, but I fire wrestling fire. with Seattle. Wrestling with Seattle. <laughs> wrestling in Seattle. <laughs> this is in a Tom Hanks movie. 
Thanks, Wrestle Fan, for the Indie Minute. And with us on the line from Seattle, Washington, Max Zaleski from Wrestling with Subtitles, a movement that's uh, definitely popped up a bit on the social media over the last week. Uh, how, how you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great. Um, you know, excited. Uh, I was actually just mentioned on our local radio station, nice. 99.9 KASW. They mentioned us and our program. So, Excellent, excellent. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Well, I, first, you know, this is you know, uh, you know, a, a topic that kind of uh, uh, struck with me as a producer of wrestling DVDs over here in the Pittsburgh area in the Western Pennsylvania area. Uh, so, tell us what is wrestling subtitles? What are you guys aiming to do out there? Uh, our project is to try to get uh, the attention of WWE, TNA, ROH, any of the major promotions. I mean, I'd love to get DG USA and all the other program. Uh, promotions out there to try and get subtitles on their, you know, any, any of their releases, because right now they do not have English subtitles on any of their, uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, iTunes, whatever, internet, you know, WWE.com match of the day. It doesn't have subtitles for the promos or the commentary or anything of the sort. Wow. That's kind of surprising, especially with something as big as WWE. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I've did uh, over the past three months uh, since I started. I did them, I did some digging, and the only time that they've ever put on uh, any subtitles was on for WrestleMania 28, the DVD, and it was only in Region Two, which is like Europe and Asia. Interesting. Is it somebody else? Uh, there's a, I think I saw there's a different company that actually uh, puts out their DVDs in in that region. Uh, is it is it related to the production company or something? Maybe. I'm not exactly sure. I do know that uh, WWE has, as of October, uh, October 31st, SilverVision.UK is yeah. no longer their production company, so I don't know who they're going through now. Yeah. Uh, I've actually talked with the guys from Silver uh, with from SilverVision, and they couldn't talk to me because of contractual issues. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, and I think that's the one our friend from... Uh from uh, the wrestling manager uh, iOS game, uh, I think passed that along with, to me last night when we were talking about this. So um, it, it really seems like this. I understand there's probably a lot of work that goes into this because I mean this is definitely something you know uh, versus something that's like a show, a movie, it's something that's scripted that they have kind of the text to begin with. So I understand the challenges with going in and uh, and and pretty much you know transcribing all of this information. It has to be a time. Uh, consuming process. I know from the little bit of experience I've had with subtitling for just uh, uh, safety videos I've done in the past. Uh, so, I, I, are there, is there anybody uh, producing content that you're aware of in your research uh, like WWE that's like kind of a live produced commentated thing that is using subtitles in their uh, post DVDs? At the moment, <clears throat> just because I'm from Seattle, I know that Seattle Mariners, when they release a DVD, even though it's very scarce, they do release uh, uh, subtitles, and it's I, I think it's subtitles for English, Spanish, and French. So they're doing a pretty good job. But other than that, uh, there's no other company that I know of that does that. Okay, so this is this is kind of like a wide like like sporting problem uh, with this. But of course, wrestling. I mean, it's something something that I think wider spread. You know that that, and obviously they got to be doing something for the foreign markets. Maybe that's why Region Two they had that was for the uh, other languages. <clears throat> yeah, um, I when I was doing some digging on on Silver Vision, uh, they have they have subtitles for like French and German and uh, Spanish, of course, for the uh, for the pay per views. Uh, quick note: I miss Hugo. I wish they'd bring him back. Um, <laughs> but right now there's. You know, they, they release those three or four languages, and it's always the same three or four languages. It's they you know they never go with you know really odd ones like Japanese or Chinese or whatever because that's definitely more time consuming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. Now I see uh, according to your Facebook page, you got a list over here of uh, some of the some of the big names that have uh, that are supporting your cause up on Twitter. Uh, can you can you tell us about how how you were uh, get, you know kind of uh, grabbing some attention here? Yeah, um, that's actually all of our uh, big, big, huge supporters, you know, uh, celebrity status wise. Um, there's I began this in June of 2012. And within 
three days, I got uh, I got Dolph Ziggler to retweet one of my tweets talking about wrestling with subtitles. If you didn't know, he's actually fluent in sign language as I uh, as am I. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> he got uh, he got on board, and I've actually talked to him via Twitter message once, right? after he retweeted um it's basically uh you know i'll send a tweet out early in the morning because i wake up early in the morning go to work i'll send out a you know i'll send out a tweet i'll be like hey this is our target for the day let's try to get them on board um you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh i've been trying for two months trying to get cm punk or john cena but they're up there so it's really hard to get them to rt or mention or anything uh, but really it's, it's really just trial and error, you know, hitting, hitting guys who are online all the time, like Rikishi and the Usos and, uh, Scott Armstrong, guys like those are always online. They have their you know, phone or whatever they're on. And, uh, I'll wait until I see a post from them and then I'll go after them, you know? <laughs> Cause you know, they're on and doing something, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, other than well, that, what, uh, oh, well, go ahead, Josh. Uh, I was gonna just point out that up until, I mean, with the exception of the stuff that they pre tape, mm-hmm. uh, Saturday Morning Slam, which is all post edited, mm-hmm. uh, SmackDown, uh, things of that nature, I imagine that in the United States it would be really difficult to produce Raw with subtitles, as up until this new. Hulu deal, it wasn't posted anywhere with permission from WWE. Well, I think... So I think that was a major stepping stone in the entire process. Well, they also remember, if if you're watching Raw live, correct me if I'm wrong here, Max, but if you're watching Raw live, you get subtitles. You get the the closed captioning. Yeah, you you get closed captioning that's done by a third-party company, usually by your... uh, by whoever your cable provider is. It's Comcast, it's uh, CNC Media, if yeah. it's another one, it's a totally different company, you know? Yeah, it, it feels like like half of the work would be done. I don't know if there's anything that you can kind of pull that transcript afterwards. And there are also, um, I know YouTube is doing a function lately uh, where they will auto... I haven't seen a, what they've done with, like, say, this show or any other videos to really see how accurate it is, but I know they have been starting to kind of beta test, like, auto-subtitles... Uh, and we see how well they do with Google Voice, so that'll be interesting to see. But it's a it's a it's a beginning, right? Uh, it, hopefully, with something like that, it, it, at least that will give an option. If, and I'll have to see if those are even available for something like WWE if they allow the subtitles or they opt, opt out of it. Uh, and the subtitles are also available on a lot of Hulu stuff, like you mentioned, Chach. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah, it really seems like 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 the building blocks are there for them to do something like this. It's just really, really the DVDs and Blu-rays that are missing out. Right. At this point, is that the, that's the big hole. Unless you see it live, that that's basically the only option you have. Right. So WWE is just being assholes. Then. No, it's, it's probably a cost measure. You can't cost that much. Hey, I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> they're they're I, already post producing the DVDs. Okay. It okay. can't cost that much to have someone and type out everything. Hmm. You, you can I, get you can get sorry. Mad Mike to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I spoke with uh, Gabe Sapolsky. He's mm-hmm. the uh, mastermind, hive mind behind DG USA and ROH. Mm-hmm. And the reason that they do not do it at the moment is because of price. But then again, ROH is run by six people, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, um, and that's my thing too, because in order to do that, for I, like, I, I actually pulled a little bit of the you know the IB, IWC, the Interna- International Wrestling Cartel fan base, asking their interest, and I it really would be like a couple days work in order to do that because I am transcribing like a two, two and a half hour show. And then you have to line everything up. At least the, the process I understand. Uh, there may be another one with other people. Um, yeah. The, uh, the way, the way that I do it, I, I actually have, have a way to do it on the computer is I'll pull it up on YouTube and then I'll start writing it up on notepad. You know, I'm going to, uh, quickly, re- uh, quickly do WrestleMania 19, which I was at, uh, just because it's set, you know, it's sentimental to me. I'm going to do a dry run and see how long it would take me to, you know, to transcribe a three to f- three to four hour show. I think, I mean, it can only take, if I was getting paid to do it or doing it, you know, all the time, all day, 
Mm. You know, it probably wouldn't take me much longer than a day or two. Yeah, yeah, but I have to ask. Uh, my wife actually does uh, transcription on a regular basis at a law firm, uh, mm-hmm. and, and she'll she'll get half an hour. You know, sometimes dictations. You know, something like that. And I think that I think the general rule. Just if you're good at it, it takes twice the time as the as the project. Right. Like seems that's, to be the thing. That's what I've. Uh, that's what I've heard. Um, <clears throat> I've talked with. Uh, there's a comedian named Keith Wan. Uh, he's a ASL comedian, so he's. Uh, grew up with the deaf and he's super behind my project. I'm actually going on his show on Thursday. It's mm-hmm. going to be wonderful. Um, he's done a lot of transcription and he says that it takes, it takes about twice as long, as long as it's not, um, you know, when you got wrestling, all the commentary is, you know, it's back and forth, back and forth. So that's, I think it would probably take about three times as long just to get in the, you know, oh, Jim Ross is talking. Oh, Jerry Lawler is talking. Oh, Cole is talking. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'm actually. I, I pulled up. I pulled up YouTube. I don't see any options so far uh, for the WWE videos that I brought up. Just to see. Just to see if that is an option. But it, it definitely seems like something that could pop up eventually. Um, but I can see them disabling potentially for copyright concerns of some nature. I mean, they don't even allow comments on their stuff on YouTube. Uh, you, you know how that could go. All the internet wrestling community <laughs> could get in there. So that's understandable. Um, yeah, yeah. So so what's the next step for you? Obviously, you're, you're still going on a lot of different shows, getting the word out. You're building. you got a nice list of uh, uh, bigger names that have been retweeting you. Uh, uh, what's next for the cause? Um, we're going to be working on a YouTube real fast. Uh I've got somebody working on uh, like an actual logo, so I'm not using Dolph Ziggler because uh, <laughs> if if we get if we get bigger, WWE might be a ja- you know might be a jackass and come after me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially because it's him. You hold the U.S. title. That's probably not a very good idea. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I've got a logo in in the works. I've got a YouTube in the works. I have a tout. It's not you know. Nobody uses tout other than people that are paid by the <laughs> WWE. Uh, and uh, when I get when I get 250 signatures on the petition, which I'll post in chat if that's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, when, when we get 250 signatures, I'm going to print out the physical signatures. And I'm going to send them off to TNA, ROH, and WWE headquarters. Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent. Well, I think it's a really good cause. I, I think, like I know, you know, even our local shows. I mean, we we have a guy there that has like a seeing eye dog, you know, and uh, and he's definitely there enjoying it. Been going for years, um, and and it, yeah, it, just to have this accessible because it, it transcends everything, and I think uh, everybody should have an opportunity to uh, you know enjoy it equally. How many signatures so. do you currently have? Did I miss that? Uh, give me one second. I had it up. Before the show, and it is, we have 181, so about about 70 more signatures, and we'll, uh, and I'll print it out. Is there a question out? Yeah, so... Um, excellent, excellent. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely push it out here uh, uh, through our platforms and everything uh, to try to get the word out. Uh, so, so thanks a lot. Again, he's at, uh, what's your Twitter? What's your Facebook? So everybody can, uh, follow you. Uh, I'm at wrestle subtitle, uh, facebook.com backslash wrestling with subtitles. Um, I'll post up the petition so you all can sign it. Um, Facebook is kind of, you know, just rehashing whatever the Twitter is saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. but, uh, just help us out. And thank you for, uh, allowing me to get up on your show and, and, uh, it's wonderful. All right. Thanks, Max, with Wrestling With Subtitles. Thanks a lot. Go check them out. And uh, we'll be right back after a look at WMS Gold and whatever else is going on in Sorgatron Media. <laughs> Lunchbox, bust a move. No. Lunchbox isn't on the camp. Uh, mm-hmm. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. I like Chachi's, yeah. Uh, uh, Chachi looks very similar, except now he has the, the green tarp behind him. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we'll, like, we'll, we'll you can't tell that. that it's in a different spot. We'll work on that so it's a little different. Do it. I'm going to put the pig on my Mountain Dew. It's Pig Dew. <laughs> <laughs> pig Dew. I just, I just crammed the 24-ounce Mountain Dew up this pig's ass. 
Sunday evening, September 30, at 5 p.m. in Twinsburg, Ohio. The Man Beast, the man who defeated Jason Bain at Resolution 5, the former two-time world champion, Rhino, returns to Prime Wrestling to challenge Prime Champion Johnny Gargano one-on-one -on -one for the title. It is a match that has never been seen before anywhere. Johnny Gargano versus Rhino for the Prime Championship, one fall to a finish. Plus, Jimmy Jacobs versus Bobby Beverly, M Dog Matt Cross versus Marion Fontaine, the in ring return of Nate Matson versus Gregory Iron, a special appearance by New 102 DJ Corey, and much more. Sunday afternoon, September 30, in Twinsburg, Ohio, at the Twinsburg Fitness Center on Ravenna Road. 5 p.m. bell. Tickets and information now at primewrestling.com. The IWC presents Live Pro Wrestling Sunday, September 30th at the Wells School Building in New West Virginia with Mountain State Madness 3. Come see wrestling champion Seema Ion as he returns to his hometown to battle national television rival Sanjay Dutt and so much more. For tickets and information, visit IWCWrestling.com or call 330-853-1605. On September 30th, it's IWC Wrestling. Get your tickets now. Hey guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show back from the break here, and it's time for that segment we all know and love. Remember when? Now this week, uh, you know, not so much wrestling. Well, wrestling as in the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, I, I think we're going to throw it back a little bit because, uh, uh, you know, if you've been on Twitter and stuff, you might have seen this. Uh, but uh, friends of the show, co-hosts of the show uh, for, for a long, long time, uh, Doc Remedy, now known as David Demira, and uh, Mayhem Missy uh, got married over the weekend. It was a fantastic, uh, fantastic wedding. Really great to see those two kids get the, get hitched. Uh, uh, this past Friday, so I thought I thought we'd throw it back and say, "I remember when on Doc Remedy and Mayhem Missy here on the show." And we have some visuals, but most of them are Doc Remedy it's getting hurt in some fashion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so I want to throw it back, and maybe you guys can introduce uh, one or two of these that are, that are your favorite ones, uh, the ones we were just looking at on the break. Uh, uh, let's go around. Russell fan, you're you're kind of like as we established, you're kind of the Mayhem Show historian here. In uh, a way, cause you remember I dived into the show around 2008, and you remember first... all this stuff that I don't. <laughs> and you think it would be stuff that would really stick in your mind, but. Um, one of the things is, uh, I remember an episode of the Mayhem show, uh, late, either late 2008, early 2009, uh, one DJ lunchbox, uh, in, in something that a DJ lunchbox would be, uh, readily normal to do, brought in a baby swing for <laughs> some reason. Um, and Mayhem Misty and Doc Remedy sort of had some fun with it, including Remedy, uh, deciding to frog splash the baby swing onto uh, Sorg's floor, which I believe is pretty much concrete. Yeah, pretty much concrete. Oh, so pretty much. Here, here's actually yeah. the clip. A lot of these are on YouTube. Uh, so here's here's the thing. It was for a segment we were doing called Should I Wrestle That that we started, which was very, very it's, interesting. It's even been tagged, Wrestling Mayhem Show Baby Swing. Yes, you can see there are pillows on the ground because this is rebar reinforced concrete. It didn't help it. No Wait, re oh, no rebar. See, the old way out of the studio. Rhubarb. <laughs> Rhubarb. Oh. <laughs> it was enforced by pies. But as you can see, <laughs> not even the Wrestling Mayhem Show baby swing <coughs> could stand up to the might of Doc Remedy <laughs> and the Remiverse. The Remiverse. Oh, yeah, because he's trying to start his own planet and some shit. <laughs> he wanted to be Stan Stasiak. <laughs> Stan Stasiak, <laughs> non Stasiak, but what, whatever he was pointless. Oh, um, Stasiak, but, but yeah, that's a fond memory I have of one uh, uh, Doc Remedy. Also, the fact that he chopped me the first time uh, I I came to the uh, Pittsburgh area, and it hurt like a bitch. So <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, we know we heard wrestle fan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. What about you, Bobby of J Ten? Actually, you're a little you're, you're you weren't around back then. I wasn't around back then, but I remember you guys telling a lot of stories about him. Um, um, I, I think uh, that I don't know if Missy was in the um, fantasy football league last year, 
And I think I think uh, Doc Remedy was too, if I'm not mistaken. I know them from that, I guess. But uh, yeah, I enjoy hearing a lot of your stories about them. <laughs> what about you, Riz? <laughs> uh, one of the very first times I've actually got to see Doc Remedy do weird stuff was when I was watching Should I Wrestle That? And one of the ones that I fondly remember was when he uh, – he he wrestled a giant. What was it? Like a garbage thing. Oh, well, you, you want to show the thing. you want to show the clip because there's another part of it too. Yeah, and so. it, there's another part with uh, another one of our friends of the show, uh, Papuga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, yeah, just take a look. Oh, yeah. take a look. Yeah. Should I wrestle big metal spray paint again? I think I should. We're taking to the parking lot. We're gonna take it. It's kind of a storage like Spoon bench. says, "We got my rally cap rallying." If you're wondering, we're playing softball on the other side of this. On the metal can or papuga. <laughs> <laughs> and for your audio listeners, papuga just him <laughs> And goes one, for the pin. Two, three, one. Woo! Yeah, but it's not over for this one. No, no. This, this is the part you recall. <laughs> this is the part that. <laughs> and I love how Chachi just kind of saunters in to pin him. Hey, it, it was. A, it was a, it was a, that was a late count. That was a late count. A late count. He would have won if the referee saw that he had the pin on. It was, it was a TNA it was, referee. It was yeah. a replacement ref. But for uh, Missy, I remember fondly when I went to, uh, I forget what show it was, but we were just, we, we just started to get to know each other on Twitter and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden she goes, she tweets me and goes, since I was at the show, she goes, "Hey, stop! Anno- stop ignoring me and say hi and wave." So I looked over. And I was like, "Hey," <laughs> and I, but yeah, th- those those two guys are awesome. Uh, they were really great friends, and glad glad they you know got hitched. Excellent, excellent, Chachi. You got anything you want to share over there? No, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Going back. No. no. What? <laughs> you shut my mic off. I'm done. No, that was from before when you got no, up. No, I'm done. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no. Chachi, come on, Chachi. <laughs> Tune in next week. I mean, this <laughs> all right. Since Chachi doesn't have anything, um, I had this. I just remember Chachi getting hit. In the, or I'm sorry, yeah, not uh, Remedy getting hit in the head a lot. And uh, and this was one I think we actually use as a clip for a long time on the show. Remember back in the day, we were like an audio only. We have all these videos from back then. We were streaming live, much like we do now, but we weren't really saving the video. Like uh, these were clips that we were like. I I don't know. We were doing it on Blog TV, and we could grab them and send them over. That's why they're usually such such poor quality. But there was something like this. Like that. Alright, are you going to hand it up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tallywhacker. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Tallywhacker, bitches! Yeah! Let's see right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a lot of him getting hit in the head, and that may explain... A lot. But remember that uh, the first time we went up to see Mad Mike, <laughs> and within the first hour of the trip, he gets pulled over because he definitely failed to obey uh, traffic signs. <laughs> Which is what they wrote on the ticket. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, he, on the ticket, it, he definitely failed <laughs> to obey traffic signs. In, in case there was any uh, debate, he definitely failed. He definitely failed. And that. I thankfully, didn't set the tone for the trip at all. <laughs> thankfully, we didn't. Isn't that the one where you're throwing shit down the giant stair? I had case outside. I I had to uh, go rescue Chad from the bar, <laughs> and uh, in a drunken stupor, I I ran to um, shit. What's that? What's that bar called? Finnegan's. Is it Finnegan's? I think it's Finnegan's. I, I ran to Finnegan's, which is like two blocks away from Mike's apartment, in my socks. In New York. 
to save Chad. <laughs> to save Chad. <laughs> to save Edge in the bar. <laughs> we left at the bar Sunday night after uh, after the pay per view because uh, we went up there for Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, Chad and I came back and we're walking by, and Sunday night just happens to be. Uh, trash night in in Mike's in Mike's <laughs> neighborhood. And so we're walking by and uh the way it's laid out is Mike lives at the top of a big ass hill. And there's like fourteen flights of stairs to get to the uh subway system. Well someone put a huge pile of trash at the at the top of the stairs. And one of the things that we noticed was a car seat. Not not a child's infant car seat that you hook into a car, but the literal seat from a car <laughs> that gets bolted in and is part of the car. So in our drunken state, we we picked it up and we hoisted it over the uh, barricade and tossed that son of a bitch down the stairs and just watched <laughs> it roll. I kind of related <laughs> to that. They remember, remember his quest for the Rat King? Yes. Oh, yeah. Fucking sewer guy! He's a son of a bitch with a Rat King! Come and bring Rat Pink! You're done, Rat Pink. You're done. As soon as I find the fucking sewer I can get into. You can never get into the sewer. So there you go. Doc Remedy, Mayhem Missy, Newlyweds over this weekend. Uh, Wish them all the best. I'd like to get back on the show again. Uh, just, yay. Just, uh, just to catch up. What? <laughs> well, yay. Hey, I, I said yay. Well, I said, yay. That was a very, like, like yeah. yes, and replace Russell fan was the rest of the sentence. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Replacement fan. <laughs> Replacement fan. All right. I think I saw some Russell stuff in the fan. chat room here. Let me check. I think there's some memories there. Um, uh, says, remember when Doc Remy got birthday chopped by Ray Rowe? Uh, no, it was uh, Ray Rowe and uh, Brent Albright. And uh, no, Loki wasn't there. Uh, I'm sure like uh, hentai. Sh- hentai was definitely there. I-, I think somebody deferred their chop to hentai. Uh, I think I, I think uh, he said something about I think Idol uh, couldn't chop for some reason, so he gave his to Brent Albright, and he was just yeah, so sad about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 it was ridiculous. So that was the his shooter. induction. Shooter, <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, I remember. Yeah, that was uh, that was Wheels. Okay, birthday chops. Um, yep, yep. And there's what you put in there. Uh, yeah. So thanks a lot. That's how I remember when. So let's. And uh, also, and also, Bo Diggity says Doc Remini is the OG Bo Diggity. Oh, yes. I pay respect to him. He the real. He know. He know <laughs> placement ref. He the real. Excellent. Uh, so guys, with that, let's go to Mad Mike's Bandit to Mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans and friends across the land, it's Mad Mike returning once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Sorry I was out last week. Um, As AJ said, I was on vacation. I was at Hogwarts. I got a wand, and I can magically make all of your mother's panties disappear. That was the first spell I learned. In fact, I was a natural at it. Anyway, just finished Raw. Raw was pretty amazing, actually. Uh, Great to see Jerry Lawler is doing well. Um... Cole and JR were fantastic last night. They really were. Uh, as were Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler. They had a phenomenal match. If you didn't watch Raw last night, go back and watch that match. It was very, very well done. Uh, now, as for the other stuff, the CM Punk stuff, it's interesting. I think they don't actually know if Cena's going to be ready for Hell in the Cell, so they're throwing the Ryback thing in as a, for instance, I guess. I don't know. But it should be interesting. Um, TNA, <coughs> I gave you an ultimatum two weeks ago. You're not really helping your cause. Uh, I was in Orlando last week and I chose not to go to Impact. And oh man, am I glad I chose not to go to that Impact. That Impact was the worst fucking thing I've seen in a long time from TNA. The, the sheer idiocy of the aces and eights angle has gotten to a point where I can't even stomach it and I almost don't care who the fuck is in charge of aces and eights anymore and Jeff Hardy still being number one contender for the biggest pay-per-view of their year blows my mind I hope he shows up drunk and I hope he shows up unable to compete again 
I actually hope that happens, just because it will teach TNA a lesson, maybe. Uh, but as far as the re- the Mad Mike fact of the week this week, uh, we're going to do it about Mick Foley, who last night had a very awesome promo of CM Punk. Now, I know a, a lot of you guys remember when Mick Foley was active, they would always talk about how successful Mick Foley was, or Mankind, was against The Undertaker. Now, huh, it's funny, I, I looked it up on WrestlingData.com, and it turns out, Mick Foley versus The Undertaker, The Undertaker has defeated him 112 times. Mick Foley has defeated The Undertaker 11 times. That, that's that's a win-loss differential, minus 101. And, if you're wondering, because I know you probably are, or maybe you're not, I don't care, I'm going to tell you anyway, who Mick Foley has the best success against, that would be The Rock. Ironically. Very, very ironically. Apparently, Mick Foley has defeated The Rock 61 times. 61 times! And The Rock's beat him 10 times. I, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. It's very, very odd. But, you know, uh, that's just the way Mick Foley rolls. He's, the Rock's defeated him ten times. Three of them were for the WWE Championship. That's a horrible percentage in championship matches. But, um, yeah, so that's Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem for this week. And uh, I'll see you next week. Peace, bitches. Thanks, man, Mike, for that minute of mayhem. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what were they saying about his, him being like over on on Taker or, or most successful against Taker? Like, do they say wins or they just say I don't think, most I don't, story? You know, I don't think they say that. I think they just say most of his. The reason why he is, you know, the star he is, is because of his matches with the Undertaker and win or loss. Everybody's going to remember. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he, King of the Ring, when he fell off the roof of the Hell in a Cell <laughs> through the table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Foley is the first one to tell you that um, that he could that he um, <clears throat> he doesn't win his most memorable matches usually. Yeah. So you know, I really, I really enjoyed the promo he had. Sometimes you know, Mick Foley or any legend really, they're, they're sort of drug out for like the spectacle, and that's it. But he cut a really awesome promo about how I met. How I mean, telling CM Punk, "Yeah, you're champion for 300 days. I was champion a total of 29 days. But I'm going to live a be- as a better legend than you are. It's not about statistics, you know." And I thought that was really well said. And it was, you know, he. It reminded me how great of a promo guy he was, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and I, I love. What, what are they doing here? We're getting. Is it like comeback week? Because we had Edge on on Friday SmackDown, uh, which was basically the Kane and Daniel Bryan show, which was pretty. Edge was awesome. Yeah, it was very good. It, it, go Brilliant. watch it if, 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 if they didn't even show uh, the thing at the end with with all the steel chairs and everything on Raw. I noticed, which is weird because that was like the big conclusion of everything that happened yeah. that, that yeah. episode. Um, but they co- they kind of restart everything with the Kane and Daniel Bryan thing. Like they'll be buddies. Yeah. Like they were buddies at the end of SmackDown, but then they have more anger management problems, and they still hate, and then they hate each other again. Yeah. Well, you know, it's but, it, it, it's a little weird, but I mean, it, I I'm really enjoying what they're doing with Kane and Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> fun. It's fun. It's entertainment. This is why we watch it to be entertained. Mm-hmm. And, and, and something I think to... in the chat in the uh, Google Hangout, we had a discussion because the if you didn't know the raw active poll question was to name the Daniel Bryan Kane oh. team, and I don't and, like it. No, I mean, well, I'm not. Of course, you don't. But what I'm well, trying I thought to everyone say, else did neither. What I'm trying no. to say is that that. We went from having basically tits and ass all through the 2000s, all through the, early, the late 90s, and then to now where we're excited for a team to be named Team Friendship. 
<laughs> and pissed know. when it doesn't make it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we were, yeah, I was pissed that Team Friendship didn't win, but it, it, it's, 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 it's a it's weird a, dynamic. And I'm I'm loving what Daniel Bryan is doing. I mean, he's carrying it. On, he's really carrying a lot of it. Kane is doing the best stuff he's done in what, like years. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, and two guys that shouldn't be comedy wrestlers are doing an amazing job at being comedy wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, was, yeah. stop talking. <laughs> I win the conversation and agreeance. All right. <laughs> no, it was a good raw last night. I love what they're doing with uh, uh, Kane and Brian. Punk was all over the show. Holy shit! Yeah. Deservingly so. I, I was amazed when he came out for a segment like a half and less than a half an hour after he just went off air. You know, with the with the first one. Um, yeah. But but no, I think they're doing great with that stuff. He he's been tremendous. Can uh, I just say the best part of that whole thing with CM Punk? Was when he was with that when when he was like <laughs> going to going towards the crowd. First, he stared down a ginger, a ginger <laughs> who, kid. who had a "come at me, bro" face. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, like, come on. Do he it. just kept staring at him, and then the kid didn't yeah. know what to do. The, After a while, he's just like, uh, you, "You can stop now." Yeah, and then <laughs> then he went on to the next kid, stuck out his hand. And as he was going, tor- as the kid was going towards his hand, he started just pulling it back a little bit further. Yeah. <laughs> and the that mother was really of the good. kid was uh, trying to help him out, like pushing him towards the CM Punk. But that was some heel as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. In a dance. <laughs> Nobody put their baby on their hip last night, though. I mean, and, and, and and I really think, and we we mentioned this again last night in the hangout as well. Uh, but I really think that the three hour raw has really kind of found its stride, found its place. It's going to go off the rails every once in a while. You can't do this. It's a it, it's a lot of work to do a live three hours every freaking week and make it entertaining. Mm-hmm. But I think oh, they yeah. found their sweet spot. And one of the things I'm really enjoying is yes, we're getting a lot of the more extended whatever they're doing with. We're we're getting filmed segments. You know, like like <laughs> well like, filmed, segments. well filmed segments like yeah. Kane and Daniel Bryan, like um, uh, the 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 lawyer thing with uh, Sheamus a few weeks ago, uh, which I thought was tremendous, hilarious it's, stuff. I thought the, I thought the filming was good, but we're I also think... getting really good matches. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, I, I looked at Kofi. the. I don't know. I don't know what it was for this week. I Ziggler remember looking Kofi. at the raw results for last week. Mm-hmm. There were nine matches. Really? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> and there were good matches. It's not like they were just like you know filler. I mean, they were giving them match. time, which is tremendous. It's it's not like go out there and do three minutes. Like okay, they're still telling the women to do that, uh, but still they're telling like they're giving Dolph and, and Kofi you know a good what that was, was a great fifteen match. minutes really. Mm-hmm. Like that, that was a real match. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's, that's the biggest problem. I think people were worried about the three hour raw is that they were going to de- dedicate the same amount of time to matches and just do more segments. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just more the more like the Twitter stuff and all that. But they've really done a good job of spreading it out. I will say. Mm-hmm. I think the main deal is that the tout has kind of died down. Good. A lot of the social media yeah. was. I, I know I went up. Um, I went to check out some of the social media stuff during the show and see what they were doing. Were they still pushing really hard on a lot of these services? Because it was really weird that they launched. You know, of course you had tout, and, and there's a lot of guys out there like guys like Derek Bacon. Derek Bacon. Derek Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Derek Bacon. Oh, I think I just came up with a new gimmick for him. Dare you, Sorg. Uh, like Bateman and guys like that are still using Tout because I mean they're not really on TV to do anything, so they're gonna try to make the name for themselves there and try to be the next Zack Ryder. That's fine. The tools are there, and there's kind of been a little bit of groundwork, you know. Um, but it, but there's definitely like I looked on Google Plus. Google Plus really just had articles got posted, you know, that that were on WWE.com. Uh, yeah. Instagram didn't really have anything. Actually, I looked at Instagram today, like mid afternoon, and there was a flood of pictures from last night's RAW. What? Uh, Pinterest. Hey, hey, they don't have time to put the filters in. Pinterest had some interesting stuff at first because they have boards. Like, there's a whole board about like custom made WWE that were really cool birthday cakes with WWE themes. Uh, but if you look there now, all it is is like pink, pink shit for John Cena. So I, it really seems they've waned off of a lot of this stuff after that initial push, and it's unfortunate. They're still doing the raw active. Uh, if you have like the the iPhone, iPad, I guess Android two app. 
uh, and go to the Raw Active thing on there, there is some really good stuff they're putting on there. There's pictures of them backstage, there's videos, there's polls, there's uh, really cool fun facts they're doing. Um, like they'll do like some amazing stuff with Sandow and Cesaro on, on their like educational tips. Um, so that's worth it. That, that They're really finding where that makes sense. Maybe they're not getting a lot of response from a lot of these. Um, of course, we are still doing the Raw Active Twitter polls, which I think are interesting. They kind of, I don't know, with this week's name thing. Uh, but no, no, I, but we were actually interested in voting in the poll. We were, we were. It engaged us, and that's the point. And of as as opposed to the weeks before, where we just inserted random shit that wasn't going to count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and so they're finding they're finding our humor in that point, and so they are winning when it comes to that. I think. Uh, I think parts they're losing is probably uh, Chris Angel. Magic isn't real. You know, mind freak Twitter. You know, it, it's 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 a way for them to have their guest uh, host like they used to do, but have without more without bothering their storylines and yeah. dealing with somebody that may mm. not want to even be there. Because <laughs> I mean, like, you got you know you got to think they bring in somebody and maybe they're a big fan, maybe they're not. Uh, maybe they're like, I want to do this, and they're like, Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that. You know, and so they have to have somebody manage this person. That's yeah. basically there because they're and by manage so. they mean tweet for them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a name. Chris Angel, in all serious, Chris Angel is not tweeting that shit. You ever know? He doesn't give a fuck. You He's know. mind tweeting it. <laughs> there mind you tweet. go. Um, yeah, it's just it's really kind of falling flat, and you see anything, it's it's, it's the same drivel like. PR drivel that, that you're going to see anywhere. It's like, it's oh my god, word. it's John it's, Cena. I really like respect him. It's, yeah, it's word for word what they would be telling Michael Cole to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's a big name they can throw out there. They're like, hey, look at look at this. We got Khloe Kardashian. Which WWE's always been comment on it. Big on. They're they're always trying to involve mm-hmm. you know people. And what like was the Khloe Kardashian tweet? <laughs> <laughs> that was, and and she, that? Her, her, her hands were big enough to smash the keyboard, so she couldn't. <laughs> so somebody had to do it for her. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think the experiment is still pretty interesting, but I, yeah, you're definitely seeing where they're kind of make, pick and choosing a little bit more. But Debbie, I think it's I think it's from a fact, and yes, they're trying to embrace social media. I definitely think that's part of it. But it seems like WWE is constantly trying to be like, yeah, we're hip. We know what shit's going down in the Shouldn't world. Shouldn't they be? Shouldn't they? For be example, though? for example. Paul Heyman making reference to the replacement referees during the opening segment. Well, that was a whole that was a whole angle they did. Uh, you got to remember, um, or, and there even example, and there were even Vicky- there was even stuff where they talked about maybe instant replay in some of the social media stuff at the Raw Active. And, and, and anytime there's a big story like this, uh, and especially I want to think Vince McMahon would love to poke fun at the uh, NFL. Uh, after his XFL issues, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? And this is a good storyline. It's it's good for them to take a take on something like this, you know? Yeah. I mean, you had Vicky Guerrero talking to a chair a couple weeks ago to, to <coughs> lampoon uh, uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. So, I mean, this is this is what they do. They do a lot of social commentary with these things. And she which, made faces to a chair this and week. She, and she made faces <laughs> to a chair this week. <laughs> which, uh, That's true. Which, by the way... Um, cause they did the whole talking about instant replay and stuff like that. And AJ was telling the referees that unlike basketball, baseball, and football, wrestling doesn't have instant replay. Uh, yeah, you do. You kind of do. No, wait, they do, but the, no, not for the, re- no, not, not for not the, the officials. The decision, no, yeah. Yeah, uh, you they were talking about me. adding that though. Well, tell me what recently happened that re- that was reversed on a wrestling match. Because of instant replay. Well, they haven't done it recently. I okay, can probably... Then. I mean, if I looked it up, I could find a time where... Go to your memory ref, the ref, They play the replay on the TV. Someone shows it to the referees like, oh, shit. And then we're, and then restarts well, the Well, rules like that are bent to fit the storyline. That's exactly. serious. But that's the, and that's the problem. It, and that's the problem with the last week with the whole punk's foot on the ropes. The, ref, the referee, Paul Heyman, showed them that it was foot on the ropes. They played the replay of it. And the ref was just like... Yeah, sorry. We we are to to expect that the referee is not looking at the big screen f- to catch the stuff, you know. I I I think that's like the the understood thing. Just like they don't know that the cameras are watching them when they're telling secrets backstage. I guess. 
But, but even, in, but even, I feel like if it was in, it was any other case, they would have. If the ref would, but they showed the referee the clip. I think if it was any one of the case, the ref would have restarted the match. Uh, but still. for some reason, this ref was just like, "Nope, sorry." Because no it else. fit the storyline. Because it's, it's they made this decision, and, and I like that they're they're like, "Hey, it's a new one." I kind of like the, "Hey, yes, I'm an extra." Obviously, we saw a few new faces, and they all kind of like that got explained. Because I mean, how oh, many yeah, weeks were we? Added how, a bunch of new how many weeks were we sitting there like, whoa, that's a different black ref. Whoa, who's this guy? Whoa, who's this <laughs> guy? Whoa, that black just guy doesn't butchy look the same. Looking ref. What's that? Is it who's this look butchy looking re- ref here? <laughs> 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 The Les Ref. Oh, so, the Les, Les Ref. Ref. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, but oh, no, I, and, and, and I like, and, and you gotta like when they're they're lampooning stuff like that, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bo Diggy's big on corroborating my theory that WWE just logs into their account and tweets for them. But either way, um, Bush speaking Lesnar, of that, go ahead. More probably is going to give more evidence to that WWE's tweeting. Guess who the social media ambassador for next week's draw is? Who? Larry fucking King. Texas, you're on. How does he oh, have a Twitter? Twitter. Uh, you're on the air. Oh, oh my Twitter. god. You're, you're on the air with Larry I King. am kind of curious. Okay, Larry King. Let's see. Larry King Twitter. Okay. But that's the thing. If, I'm wondering if, if, what if he tweet- tweets now. If the tweets on Raw are the same sort of stuff that's been tweeted by Khloe Kardashian and Chris Angel and stuff like that, you know it's fucking fake. There are <laughs> several Larry Kings on Twitter, unfortunately. Uh, Larry King called. What if they got the followers. fake Larry King? Maybe, maybe it's this guy. Maybe it's this guy here. Maybe it's. <laughs> Is there the one with the uh, blue check? The what? The that's check how- <laughs> or verified. The LA- check the check. No, 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 that's not right. Check the check. Sean King's hubby. Larry King? No. What? The but yeah, hell? why do you think? Do you think Larry King ever watches pro wrestling, or at least, or not pro wrestling? Do you think he's watched the WWE product in the past month? But he's had do wrestlers. Think, do you on think it. he? Do you think he knows who Sheamus is and who you know fucking whoever is? You know, he I, can, I'd like to think Larry King is a huge wrestling fan. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's kind of old school. I, I think this is. Uh, uh, okay. Oh wait, wait. He does have one. Okay, so there's a uh, King's Things. Is this Twitter? I believe. Yeah, that's. that's I think that's his Twitter. Yeah, and it's verified. So uh, attention, NFL owners. Something in life are indispensable. Hire back your referees and officials. What's going on now is a travesty. That sounds for real. Uh, although he's using his taggies. Uh, did you hear? I'm the new social media ambassador. Stay tuned for my live tweets October first. According according to the Wrestling Revolution, the chat room, yeah, Larry King has said he's a wrestling fan. So I, maybe I don't know. But there's a certain way that Larry King portrays himself. Mm-hmm. And Stanford, Connecticut. If it's, You're on. If it's, if it's the same generic dribble that they've been po- that every other celebrity's been posting on Twitter, no. What you if, know? What if Larry King, the Larry King we know from the show, is just an act, just like pro wrestling? He's a hologram. Uh-huh. He's something. But what if I think he's been football, a puppet? I think he's been a puppet for the last fifteen years. But what if football is, is real or fake? No, football is, fake. is real. Mm. Dun dun dun. Well, yeah, we learned this. We learned Monday too. Football is clearly fake. Magic uh. isn't real, and neither is Jackie Chan. Wait a minute! There's <laughs> a Larry King dubstep. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I There's... wow. I can't. What? Yeah. Did we just old person boys? Wub wub wub. Like what? Did, what is? What is that? Like what, what, the... what? What I do here? <laughs> wub, wub, no, wub, I was wub. looking for his like stuff, but I just came across Larry King dubstep. It's and, from Funny or Die, and it gets better. Um. All right. I had some bad news. Uh, Beth Phoenix leaving WWE. Bad, uh, bad, bad news for us. Good news probably for her. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. A job's a job, right? Um, there was a report that she said that it might not be true, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> it, what, it might not be true? I well, she know. said she's denying it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I, I was like, if she said it might not be true, like, what does that mean? <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't feel too bad about it, because really, she's literally become the Jack Swagger of the Divas division. Yeah, getting beat up by Eve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little By bit. By the way, WWE, way to show me you give no ounce of fuck about the Divas division when last week you make Alicia Fox a heel. Now she's on the face tag team this week. And 
even Beth Phoenix wrestled each other the week before, and now they're tag teaming. Uh, right. Yeah, they're just a bunch of girls sharing the same locker room anyways, right? That's been portrayed before. But you know? Put some, at least some thought or some. No, no, it's it. obvious, and, and and really, I mean, you know, like what you also with, also get Caitlyn on my screen more. And what you're seeing with Beth Phoenix mm -hmm. is is the fact that you know if you're not in the whatever the the front feud is, it's either you're feuding for the, ta the for the divas belt or you don't matter. Then you're jobbing mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. else is a jobber for whoever's in that program <clears throat> is yep. the problem. Um, and, and Beth is a victim of that, you know, and unfortunately, uh, you can't have Beth go and do a feud that means something somewhere else, you know, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and like I said, it's very, very unfortunate. The only time I had think some... they probably lost, lost, uh, Beth Phoenix when they lost karma. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. I think they were putting all of their eggs into this big feud between Beth Phoenix and karma. But it just it never never happened. Well, Karma even tweeted about losing her dream match with Beth yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. So, yeah. Eventually. Um, here's a DVD I want to check out. The best of CM Punk. Is it coming out this week? That looks really good. So there's pics here uh, over here. At WWE DVD news from Ring of Honor. He's hmm. in the he the uh, at least part of the interview is conducted at the they Ring of Honor show training Samoa camp. Joe in this. That's nice. Yeah, they said there's pictures here of Samoa Joe with him. Uh, footage of Ring of Honor, him with Cole Cabana. Uh, there, there's the footage of him signing his WWE contract on the Ring of Honor World Title. Wow, <laughs> nice. And I believe, and I believe there's also some stuff from his start in IWA Mid South because he was also big there. So, so good for Ring of Honor getting a little bit of exposure again. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's there's the uh, there's the ring right there with RingOfHonor.com all over the ring posts. There you mm -hmm. go. So that'll be good for them for a little bit of exposure for the people that care. People who are fans of P CM Punk. Hopefully that brings them back, you know? Uh, I, oh, yeah. Really, doesn't it feel like Ring of Honor is in that position where uh, where ECW used to be? As in, like, these are the people where we get talent from, you know? I mean, yeah, they're, pick they're really picking a they're, lot they're, of talent. They're really picking there. through them, and maybe they're like, okay, let's give back to them by letting them do something like this. You know, it's not an invasion angle of any sort. Although, wouldn't it be cool if they did do like a CM Punk brings in Ring of Honor guys invasion angle? Or just, no, it doesn't necessarily good. even have to be Ring of Honor. There's I not think. enough, unfortunately, there's not enough people that care about Ring of Honor like they did ECW for that to fucking matter. True. But yeah. I think. Remember when TNA tried to do something on with CM Punk? Oh, like, yeah. When they, they tried to do that TNA vault and said. Hey, look, we have CM Punk videos. <laughs> oh, oh, is that, that, is that much different than what... Raven and it's, Shane Douglas and fucking hey, people that this. no one cares about. This guy. Yeah, well, isn't that, isn't that uh, any different than any indie fed that it is now has a best of CM Punk uh, oh, DVD, yeah. like what you can buy at SorgatronMedia.com slash store? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, that, that's what everybody internet. does. Uh, I mean, it, there was a Before They Were Stars one that's all his... Um, uh, not ROH, what's the other company? Uh, down FI, FIP. All of his uh, uh, full impact pro stuff that's, when, uh, uh, that I can get on I Netflix. Really, Everybody really, did this when they when they pop up. Yeah. Every indie group or smaller group that's not WWE or TNA, and now you see TNA too. When they see somebody from their ranks get big, is the time for them to cash in. That's why they keep video libraries. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure even when Daniel Ryan won the world title, ROH released a best of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. It's just something that goes with the territory, I think. But even I, the thing with CM Punk. I get doing something with Ring of Honor too, but CM Punk has always been placed as the independent wrestling guy. He's always had that stuck to him ever since he started in WWE. That yeah. stuff's oh, yeah. carried with him since then. And I love that it can I, maybe draw back some attention on these guys for people to maybe yeah. expand and maybe help out that, you know, because nobody knows they need this stuff to farm up their talent because they're seeing the win, like big wins and big losses as far as who they bring up from, uh, you know, with NXT and all that I, stuff. I was a really big fan of the fact when CM Punk and Daniel Bryan were feuding, they were not afraid to mention the fact that they were feuding on the independents. Yes. And that they had a history on the independents. Good. For the longest time, WWE would put themselves in their own bubble where no one ex else exists. Yeah. Nothing yeah. exists. Besides they did that with WWE. Uh, when, uh, Except... Go ahead. Loki and... Didn't Daniel Bryan and Loki fight some one time too? Yeah, yeah, they, and they, they were, made they were mentioning they were that NXT. they were they were 
they fought all over the world or something, and then they came here. Was that in, was that here? Or was that in the uh, FCW? It was probably like NXT, I, and maybe I afterwards on like SmackDown after they both won. But yeah. it's it's refreshing, and you, mm-hmm. they should be able to mention that there's other people out there. Mm-hmm. The only time they were used to ever mention it was WCW, and they would only mention it because they beat the shit out of WCW. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You know, I never knew. Remember when like Ric Flair came in and they went here with like he's a real world champion. I'm like, where the fuck is that belt from? I didn't know anything about WCW NWA. To me, WWF <laughs> was it, and I, and I love yeah. I love that that's not the case anymore. And there's that acknowledgement. I mean, that really started, I think, mostly with well, well, the Ric Flair thing, and with like say ECW when they did do the initial invasion angles in the uh, in the uh, late nineties. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I, fifty matches in the chat room is saying uh, WWE can't wait to buy ROH's tape library. His, Vince is keeping a suitcase of money handy at all times. Yeah. Yeah, it's smart to have that stuff. Yeah. You know, it is. It is. It is. The more wrestling, the better, because the more people eat it up, the more you can populate stuff like, you know, like a, a like a WWE network or these DVDs or anything like Hulu that. Plus. I mean, look at look at the ECW. Just they released yet another WCW or I'm sorry, ECW DVD just a little bit ago that uh, yeah. unreleased one, um, which now all those are up available on Netflix, which was pretty awesome. I've been watching through the Extreme Rules one. Yeah, um, I watched a couple of them. So, I mean, that, that's great. It, to have that library means you get to sell more DVDs, repackage them, you know, and just redistribute the wealth. Because, I mean, there are plenty <laughs> of guys. Because there's plenty of kids. Uh, WrestleFan, you're a perfect example because you're like half the rest of our age. You're a kid. And, and, and you, you <laughs> I'm are, a child. So, and I don't mean this same degree way, but you haven't even experienced half of the shit wrestling-wise, even WWF-wise that we have. And they oh, have yeah. all this other stuff. I imagine the kid that's like five years old watching Saturday Morning, morning Slam and getting into it and, and five, ten years from now when they're like, I want more wrestling and we're like, oh, well, you know, uh, CM Punk did this, this, and this too and, you know, or whoever's the CM Punk of that age going back and seeing how they did Ring of Honor and this and maybe they bought TNA by then and, and all, you know, following through, like you can actually have an opportunity to follow through somebody's career more or less beginning to end when you get guys that came up through an AWA, Smoky Mountain, World World Class Wrestling, uh, WCW, and, and actually see that evolution on the Chris Jericho DVD or something like that. I think that's a really great opportunity. And I know we've been really loving, like us as wrestling fans, are just really loving the the DVDs they put out that they get we get that full picture. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, also, side note with CM Punk, I want to make sure to mention, friend of the show, Dalton Castle, mm-hmm. uh, for his radio uh, show, did the interview with CM Punk and Paul Heyman, and I highly encourage people to check that out. It was really it was really eye-opening, yeah. and it was very intriguing. I would love for them to mention this stuff on uh, WWE about how Paul Heyman was sort of the one that helped give Punk a chance when anyone wouldn't, you know, when they, they see when they bit. saw him they as do. just the indie guy. Actually, you know, they do a little bit, and, and and I think on the site and stuff, they do get a little more into. He was the guy that pushed him, and, and there was somewhere else I was reading. It wasn't it wasn't an interview like this. It wasn't it was in WWE.com or something where he was talking about you know, like you know Heyman's the guy that gave me my chance. Maybe it's Twitter. He's doing this. You know, there's Maybe. a lot of talk about that early ECW stuff. Again, I wish they. I really wish they would bring that to TV, though. You can only it, do so much with TV, man. I mean, yes, it's three hours. Holy shit, it's three hours. But there is only so much you can do with that three hours, you know. So, mm-hmm. so there's that. You, right. you need ample time to make tag team matches. Well, go through, they're doing tag team matches. There's a tag team division. There's a tag. There's team a tag division. team. There is, I, I mean, I'm There's sorry. I'm now. sorry. I'm sorry. Friday was all about tag teams. Half yep. of last night was all about tag teams. I'm so oh, yeah. excited. And, I, and 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 the ones that make sense, like, yes, there's some thrown together tag teams, but they're the ones we want to see. There's a but new faction awesome that ones. popped out out of nowhere. There's, there's fucking Cody Rhodes and Damian Rhodes Sandow. Scholars Rhodes is Scholars. the best yes. thing. <laughs> it's tremendous. It's not just like Rhodes teaming up with random person because he has a problem with the Ray and the uh, Sin Cara. You know, it's an actual. There's something happening. There's more than it's, one it's, it's thing not happening. Two feuds. It's not two feuds are happening. Let's make them a tag team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and it's 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 um, you know, think about you know the kind of thing with the divas. The, the tag team division has been completely in the same boat. Where if you're not fighting for the tag team title, you really are invisible and you're jobbing mm-hmm. for everybody else. 
I mean, really. And, and now you have you have Sin Cara and Mysterio fighting people. You have uh, the Kane and Daniel Bryan thing. You have everybody else fighting each other, uh, mm-hmm. trying to get a leg up to get in the you know to get the belts. You know, the belts are arguably the belts mean more uh, uh, for the tag team division than anybody else right now. Oh yeah, I, I really yeah. think so. Uh, by the by, by the way, because you brought them up, and I yes, they're doing pretty good stuff as a tag team. Sin Cara, can we be done? Can we seriously be done with Sin Cara? And, yeah, the it's it's gotten to the point because did anyone see the big botch he had on Raw? No, I didn't notice. Yeah, the fact that the Alberto Del Rio pulls him up by the head and his mask comes off. I missed that last night. I missed um, that one. Part. Yeah, last night. There were reports on it, and there were pictures and video online. Mm-hmm. He oh, pulls wow. him up by the head, and his mask comes off. <laughs> Whoops! Um, also, you yeah. are ruining Mexican wrestling. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It's live. It's live TV. Yeah, like some wrestling 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 revolution is saying in here. It's not his fault. Well, I don't know well, my that, source. I just saw that it on YouTube the, or something. They they call that the Mexican nip, nip slip. And <laughs> <laughs> and wrestle fan, yeah. Oh Diggity says, "Quote your source." I don't know my source. I just found it on. You I saw it looked through, yeah, and there yeah. was some video on YouTube about it. Yeah, he said Fifty Match says, "Isn't that on Del Rio?" And there's actually oh, posted it. And there's Both the picture. He has the photo. There is the picture. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it's yeah, not it on Del Rio. But he didn't tie his match. His uh. uh mask on straight also also i think the, i this may be going off on a weird tangent i think they make the mask out of a different material because it's like really <laughs> stretchy okay like i don't get like your mask like there was like when he was sitting with cody rhodes and like this isn't like on a smackdown he attacks them and he like stretches his mask out mm-hmm. to show that he has it on i'm like that masks aren't supposed to do that i think that's what they wanted to show though they wanted to show that hey this guy is trying to get his mask off. No, 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 no. I get know. that. I get that. Because okay. Sin Cara doesn't like speak words. you said you didn't get that. No, because I get it. Because Sin Cara doesn't speak words. But masks aren't supposed to stretch like that. <laughs> All we right. did that. Uh, and, and, and this is WrestleFan with your mask uh, building segments. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Mike Tanay. Okay. And there's, there's another <laughs> thing that announced that came up yesterday. Uh, Hulu Plus is now going to carry basically all of the WWE programming. Yeah. Yeah, including <laughs> Monday Night Raw, which is the hardest to get. Like, if you weren't watching it Monday night, you weren't watching it, uh, legally at least. Um, it, it, it's including SmackDown Superstars, which were on there before, the new main event show that's going to debut next week in NXT. Now, I'm wondering what they're doing, because uh, I, I went to the site, and, and let's see if they do it. I, I, I think, and they say Hulu Plus, so you may have to subscribe to Hulu Plus. It's eight bucks a month. Um, still, even if you do have to pay for it, it, this is a nice alternative digital way for you to get all this stuff. Oh yeah. If I wasn't real big on like watching Raw live Monday night, I'm completely all in on this, and I'm somebody mm-hmm. that's uh, uh, taken away from Hulu Plus because I realized I wasn't getting any new content. I know. want Saturday morning slam. Yeah, we're Saturday morning yeah, slam on this. Yeah, you know? Fifty, 50 matches says no Saturday morning slam. That's hey, hey, you get up on Saturday morning on and you tweet. Should with all us. be there. I should be able to go to Hulu Plus, have my chat, my 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 playlist, and uh, sit there and watch. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half hours of wrestling every week. Oh my god! Eight and a half hours of wrestling every week. What are we doing, W? <laughs> what has my life become? <laughs> All at once. This is why. This is why I can't get time to watch Ring of Honor and all these other guys because I can't fit in all the WWE stuff. And I love Saturday Morning Slam so much. By the way, Bobby, great job on Saturday mornings tweeting that. Thank shit. you, sir. It, yeah, it, it has been amazing. tremendous. <laughs> all right. Uh, the, there was one more thing I wanted to touch on real quick. Oh, Sonic the um, Hedgehog and Green Hill Zone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's all oh yeah there was a real quick video i wanted to touch on uh go over uh, a show i'm a big fan of uh brian brushwood is somebody i follow online a lot uh he does a show called scam school usually they're like at a bar and he's kind of a magician uh and he shows you how to do angel I, dude i wish this guy was their social media ambassador he's way better uh <laughs> But he actually has a friend that was, uh, I forget what he said he trained it with. Somebody, I want, not Pro Wrestling Gorilla, maybe Syndicate out there. 
I think Pro Wrestling Syndicate sounds right, yeah. But he's actually that's like, that's like the Jersey or East Coast area. But it, it's kind of weird because they put this right next to the This Is Them Doing Magic uh, episodes. But it is Sam showing him how wrestling moves work and, and teaching him how to do it. And they put together a pretty sloppy match by the end of it. There's actually two episodes of this. Um, uh, it, it's a two-parter. So uh, go go look up Scam School. Uh, they're over on uh, Revision3.com. I know you can get to it. Or just look up uh, uh, Secret Moves in Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Uh, scam school on YouTube or something like that. You can find it pretty easily. And yes, he is dressed up like Guile from Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Two guys yeah. who are on Let's Play just sang that. Awesome. But I think that's kind of interesting because, in a way, wrestling sort of is magic. I mean, it's a cool way to, you know. I mean, it's a show. I think there's a lot of. Kind of correspondence between the two things, and I think he does like actually make a few references in these episodes, like like to yeah, it's like music, it, it's like magic where you're not showing this and 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 you're accentuating this, you know, kind of thing. And it's pretty cool because he's not like I think he's made probably a little bit of a wrestling fan, but he, you know, honestly does not know how this thing works. And 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 to get that right. explanation, uh, yeah, it, it's a pretty cool watch for uh, people that are really into it. Um, so. So there you go. And maybe if you have an idea, if you want to be into pro wrestling, what all goes into it. The ring they use is kind of questionable, I think. I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's like a, a makeshift boxing ring. Like here, you can see uh, on the wide shots here, it looks like it's literally just built out of boards. Like a boxing ring. Like I don't think there's much give when they slam to that thing at all. Let me see if I can find a wide shot here. Here, there's one here. If you I'm going to call that guy a sloppy not. Carlito. Uh, maybe not. But uh, but yeah, but yeah, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. Go check that out. All right, guys. I think it's time for uh, to learn what you learned in wrestling this week, Bobby. I know you got one. Um, I learned that magic isn't real, uh, and neither is Jackie Chan. Okay. Yep. And uh, Damian Sando has merchandise on WWEshop.com, and I think yeah. everybody should buy it, including the unwashed masses. <laughs> Educate yourselves. Yes. Educate yourselves. You're welcome. And you're welcome. Riz, what about you? Shit. I learned that <laughs> during that every well. show Mick Foley's at, he teaches at least one person to do the bang bang symbol. Bang bang. <laughs> remember at the end of the at the end of the night, Mick Fo- like they just showed CM Puck walking by by Mick Foley, and he was talking to some guy with his hands pointed like guns. Plus, Mick bang. taught that guy how to do the bang bang thing, and and the guy ran away. He didn't protect them. Yeah, and he's <laughs> just like, "Oh, I'm out of here, violence." And Bobby, I'm, I call bullshit yes. on your magic one because Mick Foley turned into Ryback. Mm. Explain ah. that. Mm. It was Chris Angel from the <laughs> Chris Angel. Twitter location. All right, Chachi, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that you guys need to get a life. <laughs> oh. We wow, did. Mr. Wow. Uppity. Eight and a half hours of wrestling <laughs> just in WWE alone? Hey, that, no. that was me. Get was... a fucking life. Seriously. <laughs> I watched three in and out. I'm done. You didn't even watch three this week. Yeah, WrestleFan ruined it for me. Uh, apparently I did. So, yeah, you, okay. you no. Know. That's cool. Eight and a half hours of wrestling plus all the other crap. No. Uh-uh. You can cut it down. You skip the raw rebounds. No. You you skip any divas match. You're okay. You skip. You, it's more like six. You skip NXT. You can. Skip. But you watch all Saturday morning slam. Damn you it. You can skip NXT. You can <laughs> skip SmackDown. I, I will give you your half hour of NXT. But half hour of NXT or uh, Saturday what's morning slam. slam. Damn straight you will. But the, the no, you will give him NXT too. Fuck you guys. No. What what's NXT? No, I'm sorry. Eight and a half. You're not hours. a real wrestling fan. I'm not. Ah. No, not you, Chachi. I was saying Riz. But, <laughs> yeah, screw okay. that. Well, uh, my name's not the Wrestle Fan, so no, I can't be the the wrestling oh, fan. fan. Well, then what the fuck up, you know? Wrestle Fan? What'd you learn this week? Uh, I, <laughs> learned, I learned pretzels I, are tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I I learned from wrestling this week. Uh, if you're a wrestling fan and you ever like ever contemplate get jumping the rail and getting in the ring oh shit don't do that <laughs> the rap because, because just because justin roberts will fuck your world up 
Justin Roberts? Apparently, he's the one that stopped the guy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. He didn't really do a good job. He did get in Feed. the ring. That's true. That, but he probably took him with his own tie. He stopped, at least he saved him from being eaten by the Ryback. From the chat room, we have uh, Bo Diggity. Hold on. Hold He's on. just chanting pretzel fan now. Pretzel yes. fan. Uh, but he pushed up his learn. Uh, Bo Diggy learned all in cast, by the way. By the way. Um, I learned that Mick Foley is a mutant, and also Chachi needs to learn about my moonsault skills. Uh, 50 Matches says, um, What I learned, Damian Sandow wearing a t-shirt on TV is character suicide. No, it's not. What? what? Yeah, no. Hot, Wheels no, learned, Hot Wheels learned I can't hide from Virgil. What? He was at the Cal U football game. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> oh, what the score, the score was. Oh, the did you ask me what the score was? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is tremendous. Oh, what did I learn? What did oh. I learn from wrestling this week? Sorg! Yeah, I kind of wanted AJ to say yes in a uh, dangerous alliance that happened. Yeah. The be- the we can- We've said that AJ is sort of like dulled down. Mm. The best part of AJ last week, which she was hilarious and very, she fucking cried was, during the, the talking to the referee thing. Yeah, yeah. and those were real was, fucking tears. Real oh tears. my god! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, but the best part was when uh, she's with Alberto Del Rio, David Atunga, and Ricardo. And uh, I forgot how the conversations are, but Alberto goes, "So wait, does this mean I get another title match against Sheamus?" And she goes, <laughs> "No." No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. AJ, you know, they, they, they can't hit it every week with it, with everybody. Um, uh, also, uh, at the follow-up, 50 Matches says, uh, character suicide, bathrobe, or nothing. Mm. <laughs> and Bo Diggy learned that uh, being a social media ambassador is fun. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, and look at that. Yeah. He, was doing the, he was doing the tweets during the show. Oh, uh, I don't think he realizes. I don't, apparently, I'm not approved on the Mayhem Show account to see his tweets. So what? no, no. What? Well, he has a private account. I gave him. The, no, uh, I think he, yeah. Chuck no, he was tweeting from the uh, Mayhem show. Account. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I didn't have that thing up. Okay, <laughs> I'll take a look at those. Um, <laughs> tremendous. The ones that are all in caps. Let me look. <laughs> mm, mm. I'll read a few examples. If and you know doing that. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. All right, guys, it's been the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check us out. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. Uh, we're on your iTunes, Blip TV. Stitcher, I must say Snatcher. That's something else, I think. Roku, Whoa, Roku, Roku Box, YouTube. Uh, we're a, we're, that's a whole other one I learned. You can drop us a line at that email address. <laughs> good, good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0. You can also catch us on at Mayhem Show on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We have a great Facebook open group, and uh, we're on Google Plus as well. We actually kind of use it a bit. You know, really, we yeah. use it for hangouts. Um, you go buy the app, uh, WMS Gold, on your Amazon App Store and the uh, iTunes uh, Store for your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. Uh, it's a dollar ninety nine. Gets you all access to the show and some secret content. Yay! Um, Yay! Okay. Do it. Support Yay. the show if you're digging this stuff and get the get a, get a more of a load of us. Um, hey, hey, 50 Match says Stitcher is his preferred WMS delivery method. I'm actually enjoying Stitcher. <laughs> Stitcher actually is really nice on the iPhone. I think there might be an Android version too, um, because it just it's smooth. The the podcast app on on iTunes is really kind of iffy right now, and I have a few things on there that aren't Stitcher. But uh, yeah, go check that out there. Like no Nerdist ner- uh, podcast on uh, oh. Stitcher. Unfortunately. So guys, yeah, hey, I'm Sorgatron at Sorgatron Red on the Twitter is myself. Fan. For so at Bobby Fred, F J Fred, Town, Fred, for Fred, at Riz Fred, IUP, Fred, for at the Wrestle Fred, Fan, the and for so at Chachi Fred, says, this has been Fred. the Mayhem Show, and we are out. Yeah.